So one night, one month, sometime, when I'd had one martini as a test to see if I could, which, given my stunning self-discipline, had become three, and I was feeling rather daring and nicely detached and a little bigger than life and not snarling yet. So I marched more or less straight, straight up to the front of the room, hall, and faced my peers. And I looked them over, all of them trying so hard, grit and guilt and failing and trying again and loss and I had a moment sweeping pity and disgust and I almost cried, but I didn't. Like sister, like sister, by God. And I heard myself say in my little girl voice, and there were a lot of different me's by then, I am a alcoholic. My name is Claire. And I am a alcoholic. Now I was supposed to go on, you know, say how bad I was and didn't want to be and how it happened and what I wanted to happen and would they help me help myself? But I just stood there for uh, 10 seconds, maybe. And then I curtsied. I made my little girl curtsy and on my little girl feet padded back to my chair. <laughs> well, an agnostic in the holy of holies doesn't get much camaraderie. A little patronizing, maybe. Mm, they were taken by the vaudeville, don't misunderstand me. But the one lady was nice. She came up to me later and said, you've taken the first step, dear. She didn't say the first step toward what? Sanity? Insanity? Revelation? Self-deception? But it hooked me. The applause. The stage presence. That beginning. No school taught had more gold stars for never missing class. I went, oh God, I did until I realized, and being a slow student in my young middle age slowly, that I was not, nor ever had been, a alcoholic, or am, either. But I did not have in common with those people. But they were alcoholics, and I was not. I was just a drunk. But they couldn't help it, I could and wouldn't. But they were sick. And I was merely willful. 